bit of a hot tip if you do decide to do this um, and you're videoing like with a camera use gloves because you can just take them off and then operate the camera without making the camera sticky <laughs> So I went one step further and just made a side for that little bit of cardboard um, just to sort of get an idea on you know what it's actually going to look like when it's complete and I think you won't even see it. I think it's just going to disappear uh, it, once that frame is painted the same colour and all powder coated together it's not even going to be noticeable um, especially when the seat's on it. So it's created me quite a little bit of room in there. And it goes back about 120 mil, um, so it's enough to house the stuff that I need. If I need maybe a little bit more, um, I can always move this back a tad, and that would create even more space in there. But I suppose I can still tuck stuff under there. It's not really going to be a problem. I mean, the idea was to make it stop there and then bring this up and weld this bottom plate to the back of that. That was my plan. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to work. Pretty happy with that. What I've decided to do here is mount the front with just one bolt, um, as you can see, and it's got a flat head underneath, so it's just not going to be visible um, from the side. You're really not going to see it once it's all powder coated. And that's heaps of strength just on the front. In the back, I'm going to do two. Uh, I've just been trying to work out how to make that work. And uh, currently, I've decided I'm going to trim this down to the same length as that. And I'm going to mount that in there, weld it in, um, all the way through on both sides. And then I'm going to drill a hole through this piece here, um, the back piece, and then weld the nut on the inside of this tray. So that nut will be essentially welded on there, on both sides, this side of here. And then basically just, yeah, that pan head once again at the very back which will, won't be able to be seen, you won't see it once it's all powder coated, it'll just disappear. Um, and the seat will go on, it should be all nice and snug, and I shouldn't have any dramas. But now I'm just going to have to cut that down, weld it in, do a bit of a trial fit, uh, put it in, take them all out, put it back up again, and just make sure it does go um, in and out nice and easy, because there's a few angles that I'm just a little bit concerned about, especially this um, this main backbone, um, back brace of the actual frame, just to make sure it, the pan just drops out nice and easy. I was going to fully weld it out, like actually make it like so tight, tolerances and completely weld this out, but I thought about it for a little while and I was like, you know what, it's just going to be a lot easier to do the wiring um, if I can have that removable, and for a few bolts, a little bit more time. Um, it makes things so much simple, so much simpler <laughs> um, at a later stage if you know I need to change things or pull something out because I'm planning on running most of the wiring hidden up inside one of the tubes, uh, the, the tail lights and blinkers I'm hoping to run inside this 
frame all the way through on one side uh, or both sides and then just poke out wherever I need them just so that it's nice and neat uh, and as simplistic looking as possible and easy and sort of convenient to get to so to take that pan out will only ever be three bolts to take the seat out is only one at the bottom and to take the tank out is only one at the back so it's nice and easy to remove things if I ever need to when I do weld it in I'm just going to put a tack on the top on both sides and then push it up while I do that so that when I do have to actually install it finally when I do put it in I want to be able to have a bit of pressure I want to be able to have to push it up to get it in the hole so that there's no chance of any of this hitting the side of or the underside of the frame so there's no rattle because um, yeah that would drive me crazy so all I wanted to do was just tack it to make sure that I am able to take this out may need to increase that hole the hole it's really hard to spin that that hole's a bit small so looks as though we have a winner could possibly get away with tapping that in even closer Alrighty, now that I've pretty much set this up where I want it to be, uh, and it goes in and out quite easily, uh, so that fits up, that goes in, uh, the bolts are going to go in nice and easy. All I'm going to do, well, I'm going to line the hole up. <laughs> All I'm going to do now is get the nuts and put them on the inside of here, and then just tack them on to the inside of the tray. Um, so I'll put them on and I will probably pull the bolt in almost all the way to the end but not hanging out just so that if I do get any spatter it doesn't go inside the thread which is an absolute pain in the ass to get out and also any spatter won't get on the actual bolt itself if it's not hanging out. So just try and keep them flush, that's what I found that works the best for me. Um, and yeah, once that's done, just finish welding off that front bracket. Uh, and then that's it. I'm just probably going to throw some black paint on it uh, just to stop the rust um, before I get it powder coated. And that'll be it. So now that I've got the battery box pretty much situated where I want it to be, I've just finished building this, um, I guess, electrical box where I'm going to put all the components. Um, I'm pretty happy with that as well. It's given me a bit of room um, to actually store all of this, I guess, this stuff on the actual wiring loom. Um, and there's also another module um, on this side as well, which I'm going to try and take this off here um, and also unwind all of this loom here that runs all the way through. Just take all the, the tape off it um, and then pretty much work out what's what and what can I can move around and what I need to extend or shorten just so that I can fit everything in here. This is kind of a daunting part for me. Um, I'm not a big fan of wiring so there's some components that I don't even know what it is. Um, in fact, uh, right next to the battery you've got this little thing, this little device and of course that's a fuse underneath that red bit there but I don't know what this little relay is and I've got to find that out because I want to know if I can reduce the size of it get another one from another bike or an, you know an aftermarket piece which to make that smaller I'm I know it's needed I just don't know exactly what it is and it's the thing that usually sits right next to the battery so I don't have enough room in this box here to install that I could possibly make a small little box here that'll house it or run the wires up here and then into this box but I'm trying to figure out what it is exactly whether I need it well whether I can source a smaller one um, and all this 
can be shortened and changed and twisted and cut and bent and whatever I need to do to make it work. Just a bit of a hot tip if you do decide to do this um, and you're videoing like with a camera, use gloves because you can just take them off and then operate the camera without making the camera sticky. <laughs> Um, I thought ahead, so I decided to wear the gloves from the very beginning, which I'm kind of glad that I did. At some stage, someone's obviously done a bit of a repair, um, or added some wires. Not exactly sure, but someone's definitely done something here. This may or may not be worth mentioning, but I'm just going to throw some wax and grease remover just over the wires now that I've taken all that, that sticky tape off. Um, just so that when I'm working with it, it's not just like a sticky mess all the time every time I touch it. Um, it doesn't really make much difference, but I just figured, well, I've got it, I might as well, and it just makes life a little bit easier while I'm putting all this together. So I would recommend it. And I also want to add this little guy as well. So run him back down and somewhere through the frame and down into this box. So all that's got to be hidden. And I've got to run the earth and the power inside this box, which will probably happen through here, through a little grommet that goes into there. So this little guy here, the reason I'm moving it, I just want to explain, um, where it sits right here is there used to be a cover um, that used a plastic cover that used to go over it and I'm not going to be using that cover and I'm using a completely different fuel tank for it so where the fuel tank runs is it kind of runs down here like this and this is half visible I could make a cover for it yeah I guess there's, there's that option um, but that's the cable for it it's just a clump of wires and an earth cable and it runs back down to where I'm going to be putting um, all of the electrics so why not just move it down. All that I'll have up here then is just obviously um, your coil packs and obviously all your wiring for the you know headlight and all that but yeah it just seems silly to have this here when I can redesign it to go back under the seat with everything else. So yeah, that's why I'm moving it for no other reason but because where it is, is is visible and it looks ugly. So yeah, just thought I'd explain that. Okay, it looks like someone's done some more modifications here. I know it looks a bit like a bird's nest right now all over the place but I've kind of got a bit of a direction. It wasn't as bad as I initially thought. Um, I've run the wires up through here, the main loom, and then just broken them away to a place where I've just kind of sectioned them. So the power wires come down to here. So you've obviously got the negative that comes off the engine. Positive wires come down. Um, and I've got these cables which obviously have plugs, they're all coming from the same place on the other side of the engine there. <clears throat> so they're all coming from this direction, which is kind of cool. So I'll be able to do something there and bring them up and hide them up inside the tube or make something that goes, I just don't really want to be drilling holes into this frame if I can help it. So I'm going to see what I can do anyway and come up with something. But yeah, all the modules are fitted. Um, just like throwing them in there just to, like that's the fuse box. Um, ignition module and this little module here. Um, so I've got all of that pretty much just thrown in there to see if it's going to work. And that's the main loom that I'm pulling now. And it runs all the way back to obviously your signals and your tail light. Um, this looks like a turn signal off a car. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I'm pretty happy that I've managed to get it to that point in such a short amount of time. So now it's just a matter of, I guess, uh, everywhere where there's a blue bit of tape I've thrown on there, 
are not so much these ones but wherever there's the ones that are originally there um, and the ones that I've put on if I can find one uh, there's a few up here where I've just cut the wire from I've traced it down worked out where it was initially or originally um, like this one here is green red trace and it was just too tight to get back up into the box so I ran it back to um, green red trace all the way up here and I thought okay well that's gonna work so that'll get me into that box there and just to keep everything the way it was so because I'm going to be having a bit of a break from this for a little bit of time um, before I get back to it and I don't want to forget where things were or have to go looking on a wiring diagram now everything is exactly where it was just in a different position and obviously I've taken all that black loom off the loom covering so now I can come back to it at any stage and know that I can pick up where I left off um, knowing that it's there's no difference the only thing that won't run is obviously while well, these are unplugged from the other side there and I know that this module here has the nuts uh, sorry the bolts that go through here which one of them has an earth on it so as far as I know that's the only thing I really need to do in order for it to start well obviously plug the battery on <laughs> Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that I've gotten that far and now it's just a matter of making it tidy <laughs> Ooh,